Hey, this is Brayden from Black Forest Airsoft 6 doing a review of the HK USP CO2 non blowback. Um, you can get this gun on uh, any airsoft website. Uh, I got mine at Walmart, they also sell them there. Um, that's where I would get it for less shipping and all that. But uh, I'm going to start from front to back on functioning pieces and metal pieces. Um, this one here, the hammer is non-functional. When you pull the trigger though, the internal thing inside of here moves it. So, that right there. Uh, but uh, the slide does not move, it is plastic, it's not a blowback. The sights are connected to the slide. Pretty nice sights. Um, the frame is polymer. It's got some HK trades right here. It's licensed by Umarex. Made in Taiwan. It's got some warnings here. Also on the other side. And uh, it's got the HK USP right there. Uh, the safety on this gun. It's right located on the right or on the left side. It's not ambidextrous. The uh, mag release, ambidextrous, um, takes 12 gram CO2, it's a really nice magazine, it's a uh, plastic magazine, I've had some leaking problems with it, but uh, just get a new, uh, eh, hang on, new o-ring, there, get a new o-ring for it, and uh, and you should be good, but, uh, and then, uh, what I did is I put some Teflon tape on there, too. Um, on the CO2, and how you unscrew it. Here. See that right here. You, uh, stick this, take your little thing that it comes with, and... Mine sticks in there, but yours will not, because I have, see, uh, it's like Teflon tape on it. That's when you know it's punctured the hole in the middle. You can do it the same way. Take this. Put it in there. And, uh, just take your little piece. Screw it back on. Screw it back on the same way. You can't even start it with your fingers or whatever little harder though um, but just make sure you do it really not like don't screw it in too hard but when the hissing stop you stops you know you're good until this magazine with uh, uh, with VBs and just single stack holds 14 rounds Right there, put it in there, tilt it back. It's not like the regular gas type, so you can't use a speed loader. Um, but it's a great little pistol. I mean, it lasted me forever. I mean, as long as I've used it, but do not let go of this spring, the BBs will fall out. Um, it's a great pistol, it lasted me a long time. Uh, lasted Tanner quite a long time. Um, it's a great pistol for beginners. Um, use .2 or .25 BBs because um, this gun shoots really hard, about 350, 340 FPS, especially with the fresh CO2 cartridge. It shoots very hard, very hard. And uh, what you will get is you'll get your gun, your magazine, and you'll get a uh, Allen wrench to tighten your CO2 and I think a pack of BBs does not include CO2 so you will have to buy some of those um, but uh, it is it's a really nice pistol I suggest getting it for beginners if it's their first high powered not spring gun I suggest it um, but thanks I was Black Forest Airsoft 6 see ya